Hey, Sonny, how you doing? Sonny Red. Who's this guy? This is Donnie, a friend of mine. We'll just stand there and look dangerous, friend. Oh, he does look dangerous, Donnie. You gonna make this week's Vic? I hope so. Because I don't have to come looking for you. You hear me? This project behind is like schedule behind schedule. Like I said, I'm working on it. I really am working on it. Behind schedule. Well, yes, like I said, you look, I'm working care. on it. I don't care. You are three months late delivering. That is three months behind schedule, my friend. I'm making a lot of progress, actually. Actually, it's almost finished. It's two weeks, or you're fired. Fired? You can't do that to me. We already identified a replacement. You're right. I don't want you to die in my office. I'm not going to die. Like I said, the script is almost ready. Two weeks is plenty of time. Poor girl. Wait a second. Come back. Come on. What is it? You need to answer it? Yeah, I have to take it to the lab. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Hurry up. He can't stay hidden long. He needs medical treatment. Take the girl home, get some rest. I'll call you as soon as we have something. All right. Enzo. You did good. Oh, why are you doing this to me? What? How, how do I know this is the Herald? Who picks this up for my specialist? Lots of people, lots of people. Sure, ghouls. Who is this woman? See? We need to talk. Oh! What about your troubles with your apartment manager? That dirty old man. He's a gun nut, you know? Look, I have an appointment with my producer today. I'll pay everything this evening. After all, it will still be Friday, won't it? Okay, just because it's you. Thanks. Between the two of us, you know, something stinks here. What exactly do you mean, Mr. Sanders? Take a shower. Two million. You get the rest when I get my property. Thinking what I'm thinking, right? She watched me and she took my machine. I don't That's think she'd she do did. that, honey. You don't think she'd do that? Of course she'd do that. I've been working that machine all day long and it's a winner. I know. I just know it's going to win. I don't and now think she's, she's going to win. win. How do you know that? All right, look, just take it easy, all right? Calm down. I don't want to calm down. Listen, I don't want to calm what. down. I'm going to set you up with a nice meal. I don't want a, a meal. Bottle of wine, I don't want any wine. On the I, bowl I just want that woman off the machine. Doesn't that sound good? A guy named Hookwright. Can you believe that? Hookwright? He inherits his chain of grocery stores, 16 of them, from his grandfather, some bullshit like that. Mr. Hookwright is what you could call the fuck up with major appetites. He gets in deep, comes to us needing 140 large in a hurry, and by the fucking bing, we're in the grocery business. <laughs> it's a ball breaker business, Maggot. Grocery stores operate on a margin so small, you need a microscope and a CP fucking A to see it. This affordable food for the masses crap is bleeding us to death. I'm prone to hate the American public. See? This is what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Stop stealing those goddamn peanuts! Who else was in this beside Max? Fuck you. I don't remember seeing fuck you! Okay, okay, Garrett, Vincent, and some guy Taggart. 
Yeah, Taggart who? Owns Tiger Construction on the west side. I get the jobs from those guys. If there's anyone higher, only, only Max knows. Ask him. Don't bullshit me, Max is dead. That motherfucker's not dead. Don't believe everything you hear. He's been seen. He fucked you even worse than me. I'm Father Antonio, the new priest. And you are? I'm Trey, Deontay. You've been coming to this parish for a while? A couple years. The important thing is that you keep coming. That's all he cares about. It's amazing the pain he went through and was still able to forgive. This is great. Get the best girls in town. Can I offer you one? A drink, I mean. Oh, thanks. So what's on your mind, Charlie? You come to see Sugar? You miss her, don't you? No, not really. And you're looking for action, I hope. Yeah, a little older. Now you're talking. <laughs> you ready to make another donation? 100,000. Small potatoes, Charlie. Let's raise the bar and make it worth our while. Say, uh, two, 250, three big, big. You know where to find me. I always do. They're closing me down. They started burning trucks, supplies. They're attacking my other workers. The police are guarding the plant 24 hours a day, but they can't be everywhere. It's a war, and it's costing both sides a great deal of money and anguish. What's our interest in this? I don't like coming here and offering what amounts to extortion. No, so no, I can no, run no, my please, business please. in peace. You tell your union negotiators, I'll take your review of them and whoever they have on their A-list. The rest of the rank and file will have to fend for themselves like everyone else in the country, and that's the best they can do.